Uh, my next question is to Dr. Shama Chola. Uh, and this is about a, you know, a process-oriented extensive reading program that can be implemented in schools, like Sir said. And what would you suggest for those who are looking at implementing such a program? From your experience, how can a school implement this and take this forward? You're on mute, ma'am. Uh, Malika, at the outset, I must congratulate you for conducting this program so beautifully oh, and, thank you, and also getting so many different views. In fact, all of you are. Um, what should I say? Uh, children in front of me, uh, I turn 18 a couple of months and I realize that the modern generation is uh, really, really uh, doing a wonderful job. Hearing Biswajit right now, from the government's perspective, I realize that now even CBSC is becoming uh, more interested in reading rather than writing. I mean, uh, throughout my journey as an educationist, when I visited a nursery class, the teachers were busy making children at the age of four write, you know? And I would ask them, do you speak to them? Uh, are they good listeners? Uh, are they good talkers before they start writing? But you see, the emphasis on writing was so very, very uh, important that many of them uh, lost out to life itself, you know? They got discouraged to learn. For me, life is a learning and that learning comes from books. If you don't read of, or if you're not uh, sort of uh, enabled to read. So I should like to congratulate the Oxford University Press for making ena enabling uh, readers and uh, private and public partnership today is the need of the hour, you know. And the government of India cannot do it all. It has to be in togetherness. So um, I hope the teachers who are listening here, especially from the pre-primary classes, will appreciate that reading will come, but first they must want to read. They must want to uh, hear. They must, then they would like to, you know, not, not just hear their teacher, but they would hear stories in the books it's themselves. So the question that you were asking me as to, uh, you know, how uh, you know, reading can become um, one of the most important, uh, valuable, um, you know, matters in education. Is that right? Is that what you'd like me to talk about? And how, how a school can bring this into a process? Well, um, you see, the schools are uh, uh, surely creating listeners because the teacher talks, talks, and talks. There is you've gone on mute again, ma'am. Sorry. Ma'am, you've gone on mute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Now it's okay. So I think uh, at the school level, um, there is a little bit of stress and that stress is on examinations and that exam those examinations are all written. Uh, they're not, uh, you know, uh, read or I mean, they have to read, they have to learn, and then they have to answer the questions. But you see writing becomes the most important thing or learning by heart. So if they're learning by heart, where is the question of reading books? There are very few rapid readers. I think there should be a reading addition to every subject, be it physics, chemistry, biology, English, Hindi, mathematics, because reading is something which is the first peep into learning. And as I say, when I stop reading a book, I start opening life. Unfortunately, uh, the kids hardly read. The librarians that are available are never never have never read themselves. If you ask them to suggest 10 books for the library, I don't think they can even do two at any age group. So I was interviewing teachers yesterday for English in classes six, seven, and eight. And I asked them, uh, what are you reading these days? Oh, ma'am, my father-in-law is not well, or this or that, I'm unable to read. Well, if you're a reader, you will read anywhere, you know? If nothing else, you'll start reading other people's faces. So I think every school, has to make it imperative that a child carries a book home at four, at five, at any age. At least he'll open it. And like Mr. Bryan said, maybe. But the fact that is holding a book gives him a full feeling. And for me, learning is emotional. 
you you start owning a book you know if you like uh, little women even today i would like to read it again and again if i feel um, hamlet and feel sorry for him i would feel sorry for all the hamlets today that are suffering from the present dilemma of whatever kinds of uh, you know distresses and um, you know problems so therefore i think when you read and the schools encourage it and make it, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but you make it compulsory. That is also added to your uh, results because here we are a result oriented education. At the end of the year, how many marks did you get? Which is the best school that has 100%, I mean, 100%, 100%. Well, all of that needs to change. I'm glad that now it is going to change. And I think CBSC is uh, trying itself to withdraw itself from entering into colleges and so on. But I think still people have it in their mind. You'll be surprised that in this country, you can find any number of BAs and MAs and whatever, but you cannot find a good plumber. You cannot find a good mechanic. You cannot find a good electrician because um, they think that getting a degree is far more important than uh, read to the children. The children. read you don't read alone you read the world you don't just read yourself or your family you read everybody i mean thousands and thousands of characters who are different my only problem is that when i start reading i forget everything else i hope that really doesn't happen but at the same time i should uh, congratulate my mother she must have been reading even in that era because they say that babies in the womb can actually uh, experience what the mothers read. So my now um, expectation from the mothers to be is to start reading yourself and your children are bound to read. So it's not just the responsibility of the schools, it's the responsibility of the parents, it's the responsibility of the communities. And I'm glad that you're opening digital libraries Please open these digital libraries, not just in the schools and colleges, but anywhere. You go to Harvard, you can find a digital library, even in the shopping area. So it's just a matter of wanting to know more, wanting to be excited, wanting to feel like the other characters, wanting to be different from yourself, wanting to have images of people uh, whom you may adore, who may become your you know, uh, future partners type. So with these, I could go on and on and on. You know, a teacher can't stop talking. But for me, reading is life. If children don't learn to read, they will stick to their silly TV and watch those programs and those advertisements, which will uh, make them actually uh, live a life which is so fast. And in a fast, fast life, where is the time to read? So all of us together, all of you youngsters uh, are doing a great job in being uh, you know, connected with reading. And I'm sure with the effort of every educated citizen in this country, we'll not be an illiterate nation, but we'll be a literate nation which understands what it reads. Thank you.